These are the dramatic visuals showing members of the Naga Students Federation carrying out a massive drive across the state to detect illegal settlers. Determined to protect the identity of the indigenous people, the student's body during its raid detected as many as 17 persons without inner line permits, 18 with expired ILPs and 9 without any documents from Chumukadima. Those caught by the students group were handed over to Kohima South Police Station. Well, call it the fallout of the publication of the final NRC draft in Assam, the Naga Students Federation decided to take things into its own hands as far as alleged influx of migrants from outside the state is concerned. The student's body came down heavily on the nephew Rio-led government for allegedly failing to put in place an effective mechanism to check in flux. The NSF also came up with some startling revelations, including the fact that the authorities manning the check gates have no records of people leaving the state. Teachers and then police, different breakup of recommendations was given. That was given to the government last September. And then even with the new chief minister coming and taking over the uh, office, we met him on 21st March. And then we have given a six-point presentation to him where the ILP was also particularly mentioned as one of the six points which was given to the chief minister. We would put it like this, the government mechanism has failed to monitor the influx of illegal immigrants and defaulters of ILP. So as student organizations, as student volunteers, we are compelled to come and perform their duties. So entry is there, but there is no records of people who has left. The person is entering, he is entering with his documents and then that he is, for, he is coming to the estate for such particular period of time, but there is no record of that person that, that, uh, living. The NSF team also found that CCTVs were not functional at key check gates, including the one at Chumukadima near Dimapur. The student group alleged that Nagaland's commercial hub Dimapur has become a hotbed of illegal migrants and turned into a crime hub. CCTVs should be effectively be, should be installed in all the entry and exit points in order to monitor the entry and exit of the persons coming in and going outside of the state. And not only that, but also in order to monitor the personnel that are manning the uh, check gates. One of the biggest threats we are facing today is the number of illegal immigrants settled down there in Dimapur. Dimapur has become an area for crime activities and law and order issue. The NSF therefore demanded that Dimapur be brought under the embed of inner line permit system. Besides, the NSF has also announced that it would organize a public rally and submit a memorandum to Chief Minister Nephew Rio putting forward its demands. In consultation with our volunteers, our subordinate bodies and then our federating units, we have decided that we will conduct a public relay at the earliest and then we will submit a memorandum to the government of Nagaland to take Dimapur within the ambit and purview of the ILP. Earlier, the NSF frisked vehicles entering into the state besides carrying out drives for verification of documents in different parts to segregate genuine Indians. Well, such drives for identifying genuine citizens have already gained momentum in Meghalaya, Arunachal Pradesh and Manipur following the publication of the final draft of the NRC in Assam. While the Meghalaya government has taken strong exception to the KSU's bid to take things into its own hands, it will be interesting to see how the Nagaland government reacts to the development. With camera person Rajat Limbu, Sarah Konyak for Northeast Live, Kohima.